Um, I'm an idiot. Welcome everyone, another sewing video. Today we will make a pair of spets. We will use the pattern from our book. Uh, you can even see the spets here on the book cover. Yeah, I really like these. Uh, I made them for the book, um, but they are quite contrasting. So today we will make something a little less loud. Let's go. little heads up here, the pair of spats is the first of three items I want to do for some kind of Sherlock Holmes outfit. Well, yeah, uh, thanks again to Bernadette Banner with her lady Sherlock who put this idea into my head. So the next two things I want to do are uh, probably a deerstalker hat and an Inverness cape. If you want to stay tuned on this, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's start with the pattern. I said we will uh, take the one from our book, so let's uh, look through the pattern sheets. Okay, so... something... No... No... Right here, maybe... Um, no... Um, yeah, there's really a lot on these pattern sheets. found them. Basically, I don't know if you can see this, uh, this is the big part and this is the splitted part. Well, yeah, I prepared something, I already transferred the pattern to cardboard, so we can start. You might already know the thick brown wool I used for the flat cap uh, two weeks ago. Uh, we will actually use this nice and cozy wool for the spats. And you might also remember the uh, the linen band, which we use for uh, the part which is running under the shoe for the spats. For the lining, we'll use some like cheap cream cotton. Uh, actually, the the same I used for lining these. And I also have uh, buttons, but not enough to be honest. Um, so I will probably at some point later after this video replace the buttons because I will need to mix uh, two kinds of buttons which might look pretty awkward but well I want to show you how to make spats today and so we will have to cope with that. Before we start with the materials let's uh, answer the question why one should uh, own a pair of spats anyway. Well spats are a remnant of um, military equipment. So they are quite practical even though they also add a certain vibe to your shoes especially when you're going for something like this which is very contrasting, uh, very loud visually speaking. Um, I like to use spats because you can basically turn every dress shoe into a pair of boots because the spats keep your feet warm and when they are fitting snugly uh, they also support your ankles. And this is why I like spats uh, that much and why we are doing another pair today. I have uh, matching yarn. I do have a couple of buttons. They are not matching. The problem is you really need uh, six buttons per side. So 12 in total. <laughs> I don't have 12 buttons right now and because of Corona it's really difficult to get new ones, so I will mix for now and sometime uh, at some time in the future I will probably replace all of the buttons on these spats with proper ones. Let's start with marking the pattern on the fabrics.
Okay, great. So now we have the outer part cut out. This is the side where the buttons and the button holes go. Then the, uh, the inner part and the lining. You saw me uh, marking the seam allowance. So the seam allowance is quite even at all the parts. Um, I highly recommend working quite precise here because you're basically sewing two pairs of spets, one of the outer fabric and one of the lining fabric, and then you like merge them. So this only works when these two pairs of spets are exactly the same size. So don't be too lazy. I know it's difficult, I'm lazy too, but um, you really need to be precise here. When you merge the two pairs of spets, um, when they're not exactly the same size, you get like wrinkles when sewing or something like this and you really don't want that. Um, okay, let's start sewing. Okay, great. There are a few steps left. First, we will close this hole here. Um, I needed this to turn the, uh, the spat and I will also add a seam at the edge of the spat, like I did um, on this pair here. It's not really necessary, but if you're using um, material that is as thick as uh, this wool or the brown one we used here, I guess it's nice because um, the edge turns out uh, a lot crisper than if you leave the seam and it also adds a certain vintage vibe to the item, I'd say. And after these two steps we will add buttonholes on this side and the buttons on this. I will do the buttonholes with my sewing machine because I'm a lazy bastard and I don't mm, think that you really need like the proper keyhole buttonholes you would add to a waistcoat or a jacket um, yeah and well the buttons I will do apparently by hand so stay with me
And this, by the way, is um, <laughs> my LARP Viking gear, which is, well, just standing here, getting dusty. Maybe at some point I will make a video about this. Would you be interested in something like this? Um, tell me in the comment section. So yeah, you might have already seen it, but um, I'm an idiot. I uh, forgot to leave an extra centimeter um, on the pattern for this part, because uh, the fabric, of course, needs to overlap for uh, the buttons. Yeah, and I forgot that. Um, so I closed this uh, side with a simple zigzag stitch. Um, the funny thing is I uh, forgot that with the other spats I made two. So yeah, again, I'm an, I'm an idiot, but uh, since this side is um, hidden behind uh, the front part, it's not that ugly. Okay, so what will we do now? Um, my sewing machine doesn't have a, uh, a buttonhole automatic, so um, I just used a zigzag stitch and now I will add some stitches to the buttonholes so they don't uh, rip open anymore. And after that um, I will add the buttons to this side and finally we will use the linen band for, um, you know, the, the band that is running uh, from the spats under the shoe, so the spats um, are, are held down down to the shoe. Well, yeah, let's start. Even though I wasn't as precise as I recommended to you and made the mistake with the pattern here, I'm quite satisfied with the result, to be honest. If you're interested in the pattern, I will put a link to our sewing book in the video description. Be sure to check out my next sewing projects, which will be the Deerstalker and the Inverness Cape for this whole Sherlock project. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon.